We're on SAT Practice Test 10, Math Section 2, Question 19. What's a level of difficulty supposed to be here? It's supposed to be hard. Got an equation. The given equation relates the positive variables P, Q, R, and S. Which of the following is equivalent to Q? So we're looking for Q. Let's write it down and circle it. Guys, this is a plug-in. How do you know? Variables crawling up here. Variables crawling over, all over the answer choices. Plug in anything you want when you plug in. Any numbers will work but you should plug in numbers that are easy. What are easy numbers going to be here? They're going to be numbers that go with 20. I'm going to rewrite this thing. When you start plugging in, where should you start? You should start where math is happening. There's no math happening on the left side of this equation, but there's math happening on the right. So start on the right. I'm going to make Q2. I want this thing to be big because I'm going to subtract things from it, and 20 and 2 go together. So it's 20 over 2. What's that? That's 10. All right, minus. What's something else that goes with 20? How about 4? R is 4. All right, so that's 20 over 4, which is 5. And what's something else that goes with 20? 5 also goes with 20. 20 over 5 is 4. 10 minus 5 minus 4, that's 1. 20 over P is 1, so what's the only thing that P can be? P's got to be 20. All right, I'm going to circle what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Q, so I'm going to circle Q equals 2, and I'm going to go to the answer choices, and I'm going to cross off everything that isn't 2. P plus R plus S, that's 20 plus 4 plus 5, that's 29. Nope, that is not 2, it's gone. 20 times 29, no, that's just some big thing that's gone. All right, things get interesting here, but not hard. P times R times S, so 20 times 4 times 5, that's 80 times 5, which is 400, over this big, huge thing, P times R, 20 times R, so that's 80, plus P times S, 20 times 5, which is 100, plus R times S, 4 times 5, which is 20. Do it on your calculator if you want. 80 plus 100 is 180, plus 20 is 200. So this is 400 over 200. And guys, anybody can see that that is 2. So C is the answer. You don't have to do anything with this. There's virtually no way that D is also going to be 2. But if you want, fine. 400 over, and then it's real easy. 20 times P, that's already 20 times 20, which is 400, plus something, plus something else. That's going to be a fraction. Nope. So C is the answer to this allegedly hard problem. If you plug in, you leave it knowing you're right, and it was very easy, and you move on.